Hey folks, we are Two Finger Spirits. We got the live studio audience. We got the camera shy, camera guy. Back here. And we are so happy you came to drink with us. Today we're doing Ezra Brooks. Who's that? Distiller's Collection. Hmm? Why would the distiller say it's his collection and give it away when you keep it in his collection? I have no These idea. These guys don't know what they're doing. This is the store pick from Green Farm Spirits, but uh, I know other stores get the store pick of this, and it comes out at a uh, 107 proof. There you go. How do you like that? I like that. Yeah, me too. So this is distilled. It's it's kind of a unique scenario. Well, I don't know how unique it is. I shouldn't say it's unique, but it's a uh, it's sourced kind of right. All right. Because they get it from Heaven Hill. Well, I shouldn't say get it from Heaven Hill. I think they actually rent space at Heaven Hill, and they distill oh. their own stuff at Heaven Hill. I'm pretty sure. I think that's how that works. So, uh, and it's charcoal mellowed. Kind of like a Tennessee whiskey should be? I don't know if that's what that means, but that's kind of what I pictured in my mind. So this is from Lux Rose, the name of the parent company. And this bottle number for those uh, playing at home is 617-12016. Bingo! I heard it. Yeah? Better check your tickets. Check your tickets. And the barrel number is 7915593. Does that mean anything to you? It means... Is there an age statement on it? No, there's no age statement. And I was looking for that because it says it's... it's uh, It gave a date when I was... Barrel or bottle. So, but I could never figure out how old it was, so... And no mash bill. We're going to say... No. So what would from... you say you actually know about this bottle? Uh, I know my buddy Patrick uh, got it for me. So we're thankful for that. And uh, the price is about 40 bucks. All right. Know what you do? Let's talk about the color. No, hold on. You know. Oh. All right. Let's talk about the color. All right. <laughs> All right. On my new whiskey scale, this would go as a tawny, a 1.4. You know, if we were going to go back to our old honey scale, I would say it's a extra dark honey, but it's tawny, 1.4. What do you think, Brandon? Let's taste it. All right. All right. It looks like it spins pretty good, too. Do you want to say it, or do you want me to say, live studio audience? What the hell is tawny? It's just, that's the color. It's tawny little... brown. Yeah, tawny brown. Nobody knows what tawny is. This is light copper. Nope, tawny. Tawny is the color. Unbelievable. Oh, you want to talk about the nose? I was ready to sip it. You're right, driving me to drink over here. You know, I watch, I watch a lot of Whiskey Straight House videos, and he always invites people to, if, if you have the same pour as him, drink along. And I did it with him, and it really enhanced uh, the uh, experience. So, All right, so hey, drink along with us. If you have this at home, please join us. Open it up. If you don't have this, open something else up. Let's drink. Mm. So let's talk about the nose, camera shy, camera guy. I'm getting a little clove on this one. Yeah? yeah. I was calling it raisin, but maybe that's clove. Hmm. Could be raisin. Sweet corn, caramel. Yep. Licorice. I get a little rye to it. Really? I don't know how much rye and a little bit of barley. Definitely some ethanol in there, huh? Yeah. Wow. It's got a strong, I'm surprised I haven't sneezed yet. But. For, for 107 proof, uh, it's, it's kicking. All right, let's go for it. Mm. 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 That nose carries right through to the palate. Mm -hmm. That, what you call raisin, what I call clove, or a raisin clove blend. Nice barrel char. Yeah? That's excellent. For me, it started out with like a, almost a little bit of cardboard, and then I got some dried cherries, the oak, still the sweet corn, and it's a bit nutty on the palate, mm -hmm. right? A little nutty, like the- uh, I get like a little nutty on, on the finish. As, as it transitions to the finish, I get a little nuttiness, yeah. and a little bit of a, more of a, a, a dark dried fruit. Almost like how I get in the Willet family estate. Almost I was that. thinking dried cherries on the palate. Like something like that. Yeah. And then, um. Which is weird because the Willet family estate is a rye, but has a, a similar finish to that. Oh, I think like I that, know what that you're talking about. That prune or whatever. I think I do know what you're talking about. It's hot. Mm. It's hot for a 107. The palate starts off hot on that swallow. And then I get the fig, I get some licorice, and it kind of fades to a caramel. It's short to medium length of a finish. I agree. I think it's good though. It's good. It's pretty good. Uh, I don't love it. It's hot for a 107. Would you get it again? For I would 40 get it bucks? Yeah, for 40 bucks. 
I would buy it again. I wouldn't keep it in stock. I wouldn't keep it in stock. I wouldn't necessarily look for it, but if they had it and it was for 40 bucks. For $40, I feel like it's a, it's a solid four. Yeah. It's yeah. a little bit different than your quintessential bourbon. Right, yeah, it it's is got, different. It's got a little bit of extra flavor to it. I would say I would even put this on like the beginner's list. For 107, though, it's hot. It's hot for a beginner. It's a hot one, yeah, maybe not. Yeah, it's maybe hot not. for a beginner. Um, oh, what else you got? Yeah, I think that's all I got to add about this. You want to do a little quote? What do you got? He who angers you conquers you. You like that one? I've never conquered. Really? No. Life Studio audience conquers me when she doesn't bring some more whiskey home. <laughs> Weren't you supposed to get us that, uh, what was it, the David Nicholson? The 1843? What happened here? Hi, gonna... it's coming. It's coming? We're so gonna... instead of saying she angers me, I'm going to start saying she conquers me. Yeah. But I'm never conquered. Yeah. Nobody could conquer you, camera shy camera guy. Because I'm so big. Hey, everyone, thank you so much. We really appreciate you coming and joining and tasting with us. Hit that subscribe button if you like. That'd be nice. Thank yeah. you. It'll help us out. Cheers. I'm not going to break the glass this time because she yells at me. And we're running out. Oh, conquers you. And we're mm. running out of glasses. Mm. Cheers, everybody.